going on, guys? And welcome back to another Cartoon Conspiracy Theater with your host, as always, KMAC Time. And today we're taking a look at a theory that is kind of crazy, but it's just crazy enough to be possible. Now, Scooby-Doo first graced our TV screens in the show Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? back in 1969, making him over 46 years old. And for almost a half a century, this Great Dane has been making us laugh and reminding us that the man is the true monster in the world. Anyway, the OG Scooby-Doo show never really explained how a dog could speak English, and Shaggy, Velma, and the rest of the crew were totally normal with it, even though they never, like, questioned, yo, th this dog can talk, and it's, it's wow, mind-blowing. People just kind of shrug it off as, you know, saying, oh, it's a, it's a cartoon, you know, it's supposed to be like that, it's just a cartoon, there's lots of talking animals in cartoons. But what if Scooby-Doo was actually bred as a super intelligent test subject for the Soviet Union space program? Now, I know what you're thinking. Thinking that this theory is absolutely insane, but hold on just a second, there's actually some decent evidence behind this. So get your magnifying glasses and Scooby Snacks ready because we're going a sleuthing. There's only one place to find the answer. Like in the phone book. Okay, so let's jump into this theory by taking a look at when Scooby-Doo was first released in 1969. It was almost exactly two months after Apollo 11 put astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon. By that time, the Soviet Space Agency had been going strong for years. Sputnik 1 had been the world's first artificial satellite in 1957, and Vostok 1 spaceflight made Yuri Gargian the first man in space in 1961. Not only that, but the Russian space program has a history with the dogs. They put the first man in space, but they also put the first living creature from Earth in space many years earlier. Lakata, which was a terrier, was taken from the Russian streets and shoddily prepared for space exploration and put into space. Unfortunately, actually killed shortly after being launched. That was on Sputnik 2 in 1957. Then again in 1960, two dogs, Belka and Strelka, were similarly sent into space as living test subjects on Sputnik 5. These two became the first Earth-bound creatures ever to fly into space and return alive. So what this theory is saying that is, it is actually possible that the Soviets looked into an experimental breeding program that could have produced dogs with greatly enhanced intelligence. Now I know this sounds kind of crazy, but think about it. Super intelligent animals could have potentially been a great asset to the Soviet space agency. I mean, after all, why risk the life of a trained cosmonaut for a simple test flight? That would make no sense. If anything goes wrong, they lose the best pilot they have. When you could just send a dog who's smart enough to record data, operate consoles, and understand a couple of complex commands over the radio. And to be honest, that makes a lot of sense. Humanity tends to have an ugly history of using animals who are seen then less than human to explore situations with a higher chance of fatality. Anyway, in the course of their secret breeding program, maybe the Soviets unintentionally gave birth to at least one dog who was smart enough to learn and imitate human speech. So you're wondering, well, how did Scooby get from Russia to America then? Well, the theory explains that Scooby started his life as a subject in the space agency's breeding program, but escaped when one of the scientists had bonded with him as a puppy, and then he then decided to defect with him to America. Scooby first met Shaggy and the gang, however, when the gang was, ho was investigating a creepy old mansion of the Russian scientist lived in. The gang didn't want to leave a cute puppy with a scary old man who had been causing trouble for that town, so they took Scooby with him and he joined in on their m travels throughout the back roads of America in their beloved van. Now, if you're still not convinced of this, there's a few more pieces of, of evidence that kind of pull this all together. So bear with me here. Now, Scooby is of German descent. Now, that may not mean anything to you, but let me just go ahead and explain a little bit more on that. Anyway, despite the misleading name, the Great Dame is actually a German breed. And as we all know, the Germans were responsible for most early research into rocket technology during World War II. And on top of that, many of them were actually taken to the Soviet Union, which is Russia, after the war. So that made the many of Soviet space agency's researchers were actually German-born scientists who had been recruited by the Russians. 
So it is possible that Scooby's parents were brought over from Germany along with the researchers who helped breed them. This would explain how Scooby-Doo ended up being born in Russia and then eventually finding his way into America. And finally, as one piece of evidence, the United States and Russia were obviously opponents during the Cold War and getting inside information about what the Soviets had been up to was definitely on America's top to-do list. So even though Scooby-Doo went on to live a happy life with his new friends and the gang, the CIA actually never gave up looking on, looking for him and looking for the Soviet super dog that they had, had heard about. They're trying to get inside information on the in Soviet Union's rocket technology, maybe some of their space technology. So they never stopped looking for Scooby-Doo. Though we never saw it in the show, there was a, more than a few hints at this throughout the show. Uh, maybe American agents were looking for him as a few times in the show where you kind of see him in the background, maybe could be considered as CIA agents. It's not really confirmed. But the most damning piece of evidence about this is this could be why the show is originally titled Scooby-Doo Where Are You? It's because the CIA is always looking for him, therefore they don't know where he is, therefore the name of the show is Scooby-Doo Where Are You? Uh, so there you have it guys, Scooby-Doo is actually the result of a Russian experiment for the space program in the mid-60s. My mind is absolutely blown. This has been a pretty awesome theory and I, anyway I want to give a special thank you to the reddit user the mighty pentagon for coming up with this great theory could not have done it without them great theory check them out on reddit anyways if you guys enjoyed this video guys make sure to smash that like button and share this video with your friends also if this is your first time on the channel be sure to subscribe for more cartoon theories in your sub box weekly today's code word you guys can drop in the comments to let me know you guys made it all the way to the end of this video is going to be zoinks like shaggy says but that's all we have time for guys thank you guys so much for watching remember to it's always came back time somewhere until next time guys take it easy and peace out And if you guys want to check out another version of my theory I did on Inside Out, go make sure to go check out the John Gasms video. Link on the screen right now. Check him out. Very cool channel. Also, has cartoon theories. Make sure to check him out as well. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Peace out.